After days of waiting for the WRC trucks to arrive to a barren service park in Jordan, as if by magic they appeared in the early hours of Thursday morning. But it was not a magical force that assembled the structures that form the Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally Team service area. It was instead the hard work of a dedicated team. Malcolm, it's finally happened. The boat arrived, the trucks arrived, the service park is set up, and the boys worked through the night to get it looking as good as it is. It's a real team effort. Yeah, it's been a great team effort. I mean, uh, it's been a nightmare for the likes of John Millington for really almost since Portugal Rally because there's been so many changes to how we could get the team, the equipment, the facilities and everything here. Everything managed to get here, which unfortunately meant we lost a day of the rally, but then. Uh, we saw the spirit within the Ford team. Uh, everybody said, right, you know, you've got to be up at the service park at midnight and some at four o'clock in the morning. And they were here. I came here, was, I don't know, eight, half, eight, nine o'clock, and nearly everything's assembled. I mean, just uh, remarkable commitment and the way that they did it all through the night as well, fantastic. The drivers have had a long wait for the rally to begin, but they have been putting their spare time to good use at the pool. Training is essential, especially in hot conditions, as the drivers explain. How much physical preparation do you have to do for this event, though, in consideration of the heat? Any, or do you not do anything extra? Yeah, of course. Oh. The swimming is always good. Actually, the swimming itself is a good fitness training. Actually, yesterday I ran on top of that mountain back there. Again, like I did last year, so that's a good exercise. Finally, it was time to ditch the sun loungers and for the rally to get underway. Six stages would make up the opening day, including the longer stage of the event, the 41 kilometres of the Jordan River stage. Miko Hirvinen and Jarmo Leitnen will start from first on the road as they lead the championship. With day one cancelled, they have a bigger disadvantage, road sweeping on the longest day. Yari Mati Latvala and Mika Antela start from third on the road. They had a successful morning and lie in fourth at the midpoint service break, just 10 seconds adrift of the lead. Yari Mati had these words of wisdom for us as he was heading to his car to tackle the afternoon stages. Everything needs to click together if you want to win. The afternoon would see Yari Mati and Mika move up to second position overall, and after a tactical move on the final stage, they drop to third to obtain a good road position for the final day. For Mika and Yamo, a power steering problem would strike a further blow to an already difficult day. It's been a rough day, yeah. I was, I was really, really struggling, and uh, in the morning I just couldn't believe how much we are losing. And okay, it's not all down to road sweeping, I mean, I just didn't have a good rhythm and, well, okay, partly because it was so slippy, I didn't have any confidence, especially all the downhill sections. I, just, I, I was really terrible in a few places, but uh, it was tricky. At least we are back here now and, uh, okay, we lost a lot of time, but hopefully, you know, we can get some points tomorrow. The final day loomed. Four drivers were lined up to battle for the win and Yari Mati and Mika were well in the mix. Eight stages remain with 115 competitive kilometres to cover. How's Yari Matty feeling this morning? <laughs> well, it's not easy, but winning is never easy. If you want to fight, we need to fight, and we are going to do our best and a little bit more on top of that, and we will see at the end. After the first four stages, Yari Matty and Mika were up to second overall and just 18 seconds off the lead. Miko and Yamo had set the fastest time on two of the morning stages. Things were going well. Four stages remained and Yari Mati and Mika were fastest on the first three, taking the lead of the rally on the penultimate stage, a lead of just half a second. Tensions were running high back at the service park as the team watched closely, but this time it was not to be. Yari Mati and Mika lost out to Sebastian Ogier, whose winning margin now becomes the smallest in the sport's history, just 0.2 of a second. They take away second position from Jordan, Miko and Yamo take away fourth, and two extra points scored on the power stage. Yari Mati is second position. You've lost by the smallest ever winning margin to Sebastian Ogier, though. It's a great battle, but you must be disappointed. Yeah, I'm. I can't. I can't deny it. Yes, I'm disappointed. I'm. 
been so close. I, I did so hard work in the afternoon. I really wanted to win this. I did a big effort for it, and then I lose it at the last stage by 0.2. Of course, it feels bad, but I know Ozier lost it last year in uh, in New Zealand uh, and the last stage, and I won it. So somebody needs to lose it. You know, one thing I would like to say for the guys, the whole people, the, everybody in the team, um, it's just been an unbelievable weekend, a really big team effort to get here and to do what we did here this weekend. So I'd like to, you know, pay tribute to these guys for the tremendous effort they've done. Eight rallies remain on the World Rally Championship calendar with Rally d'Italia Sardinia next. But from the Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally team, it's farewell from Jordan.